This was one of the funnest fly-ins we have been to in quite some time. Acme Aero has moved to this little airport in North Carolina to start, well basically, an aircraft hot rod shop to customize airplanes. Matt McSwain gives us an update. Six NC1, Little Mountain Airport in Maiden, North Carolina, is where Acme Aero now calls home. And I'll be honest, it's a bit of the ultimate man's cave with a side of awesome sights and sounds of aircraft and a runway with amazing views. At their grand opening event, they had some great food, a little cheer wine soda, and even something for the kids. There was live music, and Matt even brought out his car collection. All right, so last time I was at Acme Aero, you didn't have such a view out your office window. <laughs> here with uh, Matt McSwain, they just had this awesome grand opening party here in Maiden, North Carolina and I wanted him to get on camera and explain why they moved to this little airport and what's the big plan for it. Yeah, so a lot of things have changed really quick. Um, actually, not really quick. We've been putting this deal together uh, for about eight months now. Um, you know, we had a, an opportunity that, uh, uh, that was presented to us by um, a developer, and uh, we took advantage of it and uh, this was a, a FedEx airport uh, for 38 years it was occupied by FedEx and uh, they moved elsewhere uh, in North Carolina. This place had been dormant for about almost five years and we were approached by a developer and uh, to put a deal together for it and uh, the good Lord seen it fit that it made it happen and here we are. So this is it. So what specifically will you be doing with aircraft being that you're located at an airport now? <laughs> Yeah, so um, our our goal now has kind of shifted. We are all you know into manufacturing suspension and and doing drone stuff and military stuff. And now we have an opportunity to not only do installs uh, here on site, whereas before we went from our manufacturing facility to an airport, which we have a hangar at. Um, you know, people can fly right in and also we have an Airbnb, um, people can stay if they're transient from wherever, uh, coming from Florida to Maine, Maine to Florida, wherever, if they just want to come hang out, we've got a place for them to stay. And also as we get into this, we'll explain the build center and uh, people will have a place to stay that are building their aircraft or uh, want to work on their stuff, also have a place to stay. What will this space be utilized for, Matt? So this is our our fab shop, our dirty side of our, our build center. Um, we have our surface plates where we jig up for different aircraft, different uh, scenarios. Um, so we have uh, two different uh, build fixtures here for two different projects going on simultaneously, sometimes three or four projects. Um, but this is just where our, our fab shop per se will be once all the equipment is in and up and operational. This is kind of how I would imagine if I were to build a hangar home, but I see some extra windows up here. So what, what do you got going on up there? Yeah, so upstairs uh, is where our bedrooms are, our entertainment center and our living room uh, for guys working on their airplanes, transient guys, and uh, our builder assist center. Uh, all the, the quarters will be up there. All right, so come on in and I'll show you uh, kind of our operation. Uh, have our, our sh shipping and receiving is in here. Uh, our gear leg room for our finished gear legs, it's a disaster right now. Uh, it's in here, it'll be staged for all of our, our uh, in-stock gear legs, different configuration. And as we roll on through there, I gotta give a shout out to Goose's wife. Check this out, this is cool. So she builds custom roller skates. So if anybody needs custom roller skates, please, please. <laughs> this looks like a playroom. What are you talking about? Yeah. So big shout out to her. That's awesome. Um, and then in here, this is this is our shop build room. Um, 
we have our STC inventory room in here and then we have our so we have categorized and cataloged and inventory uh, parts for all of our um, all of our STC parts which people in the STC world knows paperwork weighs more than the parts itself uh, anyway here's where our our build room is for our, our shocks um, as an example different aircraft shocks and then here's one of our this is one of our drone shocks that's huge yeah no in comparison so, yeah uh this is actually three it's a hybrid shock there's three shocks in one so i say that's huge because there's there's an example of the typical shock right there yeah. <laughs> yeah there it is great companies like dynon avionics at dynonavionics.com air tech coatings at air tech coatings.com airworks at airworksaviation.com avionation at avionationusa.com check the description below for links to these great companies and visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics affiliate products aviation merchandise and so much more if you like these videos that we are producing weekly Give that like button a click and engage all notifications so you don't miss a single episode. All right, come on upstairs. I'll show you living quarters. This will be a little break room in here. Uh, this will be our entertainment room. Uh, we'll have some, some games and stuff. And it's like a, a dorm. Yeah, really a little rec room. It's a hostel or a frat house one. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, bedrooms, bedroom, bedrooms. Nice cozy place to stay while working on airplanes. Yeah, bedrooms, bedrooms, and this will be a living room. And then you'll walk out into the build center. Wow, we got all space. What, what's uh, like a 60 by 80? No, it's 120 uh, by 100. Well, that was way off. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, so we've got it. Uh, once I, I get all the cars back out of here, we'll have it sectioned off. Uh, I think Eric's got it slated for 12 uh, build stations for 12 different airplanes. So, um, so for you guys that are needing a place to build a plane and uh, want a cool place to do it, this is your place. Let's come on in the machine shop. <clears throat> So we got some machinery in here now. Still got a few more machines to go, but this is our machine shop. Uh, this is where we do all of our manufacturing. Again, we manufacture every part and piece in-house. Only thing we don't is the Heim joint. Uh, but everything's made right here. Uh, nah, there's a couple more machines that are coming, so. Uh, Lots of room for growth. Yeah, 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 for sure. So if you need parts and pieces made, manufactured, give us a call. Our engineering staff will be glad to help you out. And there you have it. Right out of the horse's mouth, Matt McSwain. But stick around. Check out some of these other cool aircraft that showed up to this event. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Remember to like, subscribe, 
hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single episode. I'll see you at the airport. Thanks for watching.